The sun is shining, minor birds are chattering, palm trees are swaying, so what? I'm in the hospital and I'm healthy. My heart is beating as it should. My brain is firing off messages that are loud and clear. My wife is on the upright hospital bed, positioned the way people sleep on airplanes. Her body stiff, head cocked to the side. Her hands are on her lap. Can't we lay her flat? I ask. Wait, my daughter Scotty says. She takes a picture of her mother, a Polaroid. She fans herself with the photo and I press the button on the side of the bed to lower my wife's upper body. I release the button when she is almost flat in her back. Joni has been in a coma for 23 days. And in the next few days, I'll have to make some decisions based on our doctor's final verdict. Actually, I'll just have to find out what the doctor has to say about Joni's condition. I don't have any decisions to make, since Joni has a living will. She, as always, makes her own decisions. Today is Monday. Dr. Johnston said we'll talk on Tuesday, and this appointment is making me nervous, as though it's a romantic date. I don't know how to act, what to say, what to wear. I rehearse answers and reactions, but I've nailed only the lines that respond to favorable scenarios. I haven't rehearsed plan B. There, Scotty says. Her real name is Scotty. Joni thought it would be cool to name her after Joni's father, Scott. I have to disagree. I look at the photo, which looks like those joke snapshots everyone takes of someone sleeping. I don't know why we think they're so funny. There's a lot that can be done to you while you're sleeping. This seems to be the message. Look how vulnerable you are. The things you aren't aware of. Yet, in this picture, you know she isn't just sleeping. Joni has an IV and something called an endotracheal tube running out of her mouth to a ventilator that helps her breathe. She is fed through a tube and is administered enough medication to sustain a Fijian village. Scotty is documenting our life for her social studies class. Here's Joni at Queen's Hospital, her fourth week in a coma. A coma that has scored a 10 on the Glasgow scale and a 3 on the Rancho Los Amigos scale. She was in a race and was launched from an offshore powerboat going 80 miles an hour, but I think she will be okay. She reacts non-purposefully to stimuli in a non-specific manner, but occasionally her responses are specific, though inconsistent. This is what I've been told by her neurologist, a young woman with a slight tremor in her left eye and a fast way of talking that makes it hard to ask questions. Her reflexes are limited and often the same, regardless of stimuli presented, she says. None of this sounds good to me, but I'm assured Joni's still holding on. I feel she'll be okay, and one day able to function normally. I'm generally right about things. What was she racing for? The neurologist asked. The question confused me. To win, I guess. To get to the end first. 